You never know what you will find shaping a world that's in your mind. See for yourself and walk with me. Hello, everyone, and welcome back to another episode of Fear of Mobs. And we're going to be working on this today in Minecraft 1.2.5. More on that later. Oh, I'm sure you're tired of hearing me tell, talk about it. Anyway, someone told me, well, several people told me I can do this. <gasps> oh, yes! Oh, yes, yes, yes. Oh, yes, I want these bricks so badly. Perfect. Yes, thank you. Thank you so much for telling me that, everybody. Thank you very much. Oh, man, I did not know I can get these just by crafting foreign square shape. Oh, yes. Oh, the bottom is smooth. The side is smooth. Kind of. And the top is smooth. Oh, so perfect. This. This is what I needed. This is the type of block I needed. Perfect. <laughs> yes. Okay. Okay, good. I'm excited. I'm excited. I'm going to use these. Okay. Um, the next thing I need to make are... Um... Let's see here. Some of these with some of these and some of these. There we go. 12 pistons and not 12 pistons, but 12 sticky pistons. Okay, so I got a few. Well, I got one video back from the last episode. Remember, I did ask you guys if you had any ideas for this to send them in. I'll take a look at them and if I like it, I'll build it. I got one video, and it had some good ideas in it, um, but unfortunately, all the good ideas that were in it were ones I was already planning on doing, <laughs> but uh, but thank you very much for sending in the video. It's been a week since I watched it, so I forgot your name already. I'm an idiot. Hang on, I need to look this up. Okay, yeah, it, it was who I thought it was. It was uh, T. Longley. Thank you very much for sending that, T. Longley. I just didn't want to get your name wrong, which is why I didn't remember it on purpose <laughs> anyway so let's just uh, do this real quick so the idea I was having for this was as you see I've torn away the walls here because uh, because um, we're gonna be building we're gonna be working on a way to close this box so uh, the reason I built this box super big for a reason I mean there is a reason to the insanity Although that reason may not be very apparent all the time. There is a reason. Okay, uh, let me just finish figuring out how this works here. So what I'm trying to do... Okay, 4 by 4 by 4. Okay, so we just need to make it 2 by 2 on all edges. Just like this. Alright, so this is the hole the zombies are going to fall down. Um... Now, uh, let's see here. I built this box around this cage with just, like, in just the right... Here, let me, let me show you what I mean. The spawner is not center. Okay, it's not center. I mean, if you look at it, it's not. I mean, right now it's a little off to the right, and it's on, you know, it's higher up rather than lower down. And let's head over here. And there's a reason for this. There's a reason why the zombie spawner is higher up in the air than it is it's not it's not centered okay that's just there's a reason first off the reason uh, that it's not centered horizontally is because um, that's just the way spawners work I mean it's hard to explain they they have this uh, 8 by 8 box surrounding them in which monsters can spawn so the idea is you want to give them all of that space all of that 8 by 8 area to spawn in, otherwise um, it will reduce their spawning rate ever so slightly. So I had to look it up on the wiki, figure out exactly um, where let's see where the measurement starts. So the dead center of the eight by eight box is that corner right there. So I had to center the box horizontally on this point right here. Then I had to take into account there's about mm, if the spawner is. I had to take into account about three blocks of air above the spawner. Or maybe two, I don't know. I don't remember what I did. I did three, just to be safe. And then I put the floor pretty low for a couple different reasons, and I have reasons for all of them. And I'm tired of explaining because I can't explain anything. 
So I'm just going to start building and show you guys what I mean. So, uh, let's see here. Something like this, right? Right. All right, and then I want to go down here. Three, four, five. Okay, maybe not that low. Ten. Okay. And do this. Perfect. And then put these here, these here. Okay. So here's how this is going to work. These pistons, these four pistons here, and these four pistons here are going to fire, which will bring these two pistons, these two pistons, and these four sandstone blocks into the center, plugging up the hole. But then these two top pistons and these two top pistons are going to fire, uh, pushing these ones, these blocks, down into the hole so that the bottom surface of this box is nice and flat when looking at it from the outside. And we're going to put walls here because the floor of this entire thing, of this box, I'm debating on, I'm debating, I'm not really debating, I'm going to have it right here, right up here. Okay, so this is how much room we have. We have about two blocks worth of space to deal with the redstone wiring for the pistons. Um, let me just, I'm just doing this so I can have a bit of a understanding, so I can better picture it while I'm building by actually having it here. So I guess I'm not really picturing it at that point. Because I'm not very good at picturing stuff. Okay, so just like that. So you see here, the, the walls are flush. Their walls are all flat here so that monsters will not get caught on anything as they're falling down. Now, if these are extended, then obviously they won't, the zombies won't fall, but that's, uh, that's not a problem. That's the point. Okay, so now we have to figure out the wiring for how this is going to work. So, powering these up, these top pistons here, won't be a big problem because all we need to do is feed repeaters into these two blocks and the two blocks directly opposite of them. So I'm actually doing pretty good at explaining myself. So we'll start off with that. We'll start off with two um, repeaters right there, just like that. Now there's going to be a wall here, so that's the other thing I need to take into account. A wall right here that we can't place anything on, just like so. Because this is what's going to keep the monsters in, obviously. So powering um, these pistons here is going to be slightly, actually it's going to be pretty easy, not a big deal there. So this is not going to be a very easily accessible, easy, this is not going to be an easily accessible area because it's going to be pretty sealed off, pretty much sealed off from everything else. So it's, yeah, there's no really reason for me to come in here anymore, ever. Okay see here now there was something else that was important about these we'll do is you do this I'm trying to remember okay whatever I'm just gonna do it this way do that we need to use redstone for this because um, a repeater wouldn't work here but this will work okay so I'm, I assume I'm just going to have them all fire off at once. It'd be easier than trying to do it in a fun little sequence. Although, I would like to try doing that. Try firing them in a, a sequence. So like, <laughs> if those sound effects made any sense whatsoever, which they didn't. Well, I could probably I could probably do it. I could probably figure out how to do it in sequence. So I get that cool little closing effect. Okay, so these are set to one. These are set to threes. These is set to three, one, and three. Okay, so in theory, if I were to provide power to this side, actually I have levers like this, into this side, and we're to come up here. Okay, they're in position, the sun's going down, and it is sealed. Nice and flat. Wow, that worked on the first try. Ah, oh, that's nice. I wish I had some ender pearls. Just be a little... 
Oh, we'll be getting to the end soon. All right, I like that. I like that. It looks better than the sandstone. Still a little textured, but it's good. I like it. I, I prefer this. Okay, uh, let's see here. Um, that works. And this works. Fantastico. Now, I should probably... Yep, retracted. So, this works. This works all the way. Always we need it to. So, let's see. Well, there was something else. Okay, I wanted to do sequencing. I wanted, I wanted them to fire off in sequence. So, I, I think I just need another... I think I need two more repeaters. I brought the materials for it. Okay, sequencing, sequencing. What I mean by sequencing is that these things will fire off in order, like uh, one, two, three, four, and retract in order, one, two, three, four, rather than all firing at once. It will kind of help cut down on lag, but it will also be a fun little, it'll just be fun, it'll be a nice thing to have, a nice little feature. Okay, so first thing I'm gonna do is carry a signal over to here. Yep, that'll work. That will work. Okay. Uh, but not as it is. There's something I have to do to fix it. Okay, so first, let's just uh, figure out here. First thing we got to figure out is where do we want the input signal to come from? We could, we could use a sort of repeater thing to send the signal through the wall, which will be fine. Send it right through this wall. Um, so I guess, well, hang on. Let's figure this out. Let's assume we had some sort of pipeline going into this box. Uh, made out of something, I'm not sure what. Maybe iron? Maybe if I can collect enough iron ingots, I'll replace this sandstone right here with iron. Anyway, the idea is to make it look good. Just like this. So imagine there's something sticking out, in sticking into it. Um, a pipeline of some sort. And, let's see here. Right here? Yes, okay. So we can actually leave this open here, can't we? Um, so we'll do that. Leave it open. Okay. Good. Alright, so here's how I want this to work. Here's how I want this to work. Um, I don't want it to work like that. No, no. The signal's gonna travel around this side, like so. Just like that. But almost, not, not quite. Okay, here's how it's gonna work. The signal comes in from this wire right here. Okay, this will not interfere with these pistons, uh, hopefully. Okay, and then the signal will come across here. All right, we need to cut this off. No. Now, these two pistons here will handle the first, or these two repeaters here will handle this first set of pistons, these three pistons and the sandstone block. So these two will handle these ones just fine on their own. Over here, however, we need to delay the signal by... Um, one tick, I believe. So just like this. So we've delayed the signal right here to these ones by one tick. So that slightly after these ones have started, these ones will start. Okay? And debating whether I want a one tick delay or a two tick delay. I think I want a two tick delay. Let's do two ticks. Which means I'll have to do this. Okay? So, um, This is correct. This here is correct. This, this will be a two tick delay. So these four, three pistons and the sandstone block will fire two ticks after these ones. So, because uh, then it'll sound. Ch -ch 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 -ch. I want that one. Ch -ch 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 -ch. Okay, never mind. I am very conscious of the sound these pistons make. Okay, one tick delay. One tick delay. All right. Then the signal comes across here. All right. We're going to add another delay. Um, right here, one tick delay. This way, this way, these ones over here are also delayed by one tick. Excuse me for just working and not explaining myself, but I have reasons. And this should work. Okay, I know it's not 
I didn't explain myself there. Basically, I just made everything one tick. So, one tick delay, so it's gonna go chuk, 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 chuk. It's all gonna fire in sequence. Hopefully, no hiccups. Hopefully. All right, next thing I'm gonna do is take this out and bring the wiring down. Bring it down to ground level. Bring it down to earth. Okay, and now I want to find out how many uh, blocks can I travel here. So when it hits the first, oh wow, oh wow, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, okay, fine then, fine then, I'll just put a repeater here, not to my problem, which means I can remove this block, perfect. And then let's see here. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, there we go. This should do it. Give us a little bit of a delay. All right. All right. Good. 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 Let's try it again. A little closer. Okay, I see a problem. These two here appear to be firing at exactly the same time, these two here. Or is it all three of these? Yeah, all three of these right here, the three, the last three are all firing at exactly the same time, which isn't right. That's not how it should be going. There's a delay here, that's for sure. Oh. Oh, yeah. Okay, I see. Need to delay these a little bit more. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. So the signal comes in. Okay. One, two ticks. zero ticks, and then, okay, so this should do it, this should about do it, <laughs> mom mistake, timing is probably the thing I'm least good at, timing, in anything, any anything I do, okay, all right, there we go, fire in sequence, look at that, perfect, Okay, that'll do. Unless I want to try it with two. Hang on, let me try something else. Okay, I think that does it. That right there. This is pretty good timing. See? Pretty good. Slow enough so it doesn't cause too much lag, yet fast enough so it's pretty cool. So there's a two tick delay between each piston firing, or set of pistons firing. There you go, that actually looked really good right there. I'm sure a lot of lag caused by this is because it's trying to do uh, lighting updates where I'm standing because like this thing pretty much blocks out all sun, so when you do this it actually exposes this area to sunlight, so that causes quite a bit of a light change. So um, I experienced similar lag when dealing with the Dropbox. Cool, cool then. So that works that works so I'm gonna go ahead and remove uh, this wiring okay we're gonna leave it open which is what close uh, we're gonna leave it open right now so no redstone power to it that way I can uh, work on something a little more official later so right now we're just gonna leave this open until I am done building this thing now, I'm gonna go ahead and seal in the walls now I guess the episodes getting kind of long mostly just working on the redstone and uh, actually, that's about it. Uh, but, you know, that's all we had time for today. So, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope it wasn't... hope you guys, you know, if it wasn't boring and... You know, I hope it was good. Anyway, thank you guys again. I'll see you all next time on Fear of Mobs. At last I found me some diamonds Oh, I'm so happy I could ride a pig Thank <laughs> you.